All right. Welcome to day four of our discernment series. Go ahead, take a nice deep breath. Okay. Feel what it feels like to feel the air coming in and out of your body. Just feel what it feels like as your body expands with breath and returns. And as you breathe in, just notice how that breath feels, knowing that it's serving you. Feeling the air, each molecule. as it fills up your lungs. Just feel what it feels like knowing that that all those molecules of air are not only entering your body, but serving your body. And then follow that air all the way down to wherever in your body it goes. And knowing that each breath is perfect, even if it changes. Feel what it feels like to not have any judgment about your breath. It just is. And then allow your body and your awareness to show you where in your body is the sensation of hoping. Whether it's something specific that you're hoping for, or it's just a general idea of hope. Hoping things will get better. Hoping things will work out. Notice what that feels like in your body, that sensation of hope. And then notice how that feels different than wondering. 
Feel what wondering feels like. I wonder if things will get better. I wonder if things will change. Feel that energy in your body of I wonder. Feel what it feels like to breathe in this space of wonder. Notice what your body does, if it makes any movements or if there's any, if your face changes in any way, what wonder feels like. And now feel the feeling of hope. What hope feels like. Feel the relief of hope compared to wonder. And then speaking out loud, what I'm hoping for is And what it would be like if that was in my experience would be and feel the relief of that idea of it being in your experience. Feel where that is in your body. And then continue speaking out loud. What it's like to hope for something is. So continue being in that sensation of hope. Just knowing what that feels like. If there's any kind of other qualities, if there's a color or other qualities related to that sensation of hope that you're becoming familiar with. Just noticing, just recognizing. And now allow your body to show you the feeling of knowing. Where is knowing in your body? Or is it all over? Whatever is coming up for you is exactly right. A 
See what that sensation of knowing is like in your body. Sense it size. If it has shape and form and color. Noticing the energy of it. Noticing what it's like to even be in the presence of knowing. Even if you're not in it. what it's like to know that knowing is there. And as you bring back that image, of something that you are hoping for, allow that image to move into knowing. Just witness what that looks like as it moves from hoping to knowing. Just observing that object of your desire as it moves into knowing. As it's encapsulated by knowing. How does it look different? And whatever else you're noticing, maybe the energy of knowing has changed as you move that object in that you were hoping for, maybe the object has changed. Maybe the sensation in your body as you see those two things merge, maybe that's changed. Just notice whatever is happening for you as you move that image from hoping to knowing, knowing that it's happening, knowing that it's on its way. Knowing that energetically it is manifesting. And as you move into this space of knowing with this image, feel what it feels like to be in knowing yourself. What it's like to allow this energy and this space of knowing to permeate through your skin, through your muscles, through your bones. to breathe it in and now as you look at that image just speaking directly to it what it's like to be in this place of knowing with you is
And what I now realize about us being in knowing versus hoping is And the other things that I see that are evidence that are supporting me and this knowing is And what it feels like, as I see all this evidence, what it feels like to be in this knowing is And then anything else that wants to make the transition from hoping space into knowing space, just allow all of those things to come into knowing space and be there with you. Even if they're only partially there, that's okay. Just whatever showing up for you is exactly right. You're just witnessing these items these images, these energies, as they move into knowing. And if there's any that aren't ready, that's okay. And if there are any that come in and it doesn't feel right, they can go back to hoping. But all those things that are ready to be here in knowing. Just notice what it's like to have those things with you. And if any one of them is calling to you or just speaking to all of them. What I now know is and what it feels like to know is and as you look around you just notice all the things that have been in this space all these things that you know. And as you've grown and expanded, any of those things that are no longer known, or are old beliefs that are no longer true, 
Just allow them to move out. Allow them to move through into whatever space feels good, like old experiences, things I used to know or used to think. And feel that space of knowing opening up more and more and more. And as you're surrounded by those things and ideas, those images that belong in knowing, feel the difference in your body between knowing and hoping. And you can decide where you want to spend more time. You can decide if things aren't yet ready for knowing, if they're still in hoping, if they're waiting to mature. And just knowing that's part of the process. And feeling what it feels like when one particular item or idea gets to move into knowing. And feel what that feels like in your body as you come to know something. As you welcome something in to knowing. And anything else that wants to be noticed or known about this space, just allow it to come to you now. And then this and all the other awarenesses are anchored all the way down into cellular memory, even down into your DNA. Available in your conscious awareness, able to be retrieved at will, and available in your unconscious mind, flashing millions of times every split second without you even thinking about it. It lets you know that this is done by bringing full feeling back into your arms, your legs, your fingers and toes, normal awareness back into your mind, your body, your brain. And as it's complete, you'll open your eyes.